Welcome to Botox. It's the conversation that fuels the culture and not the face. I am your host, Chloe, formerly known as Ville. And today we have a very special guest, a young superstar in the city. My boy, V.B. Pat. Hey, thanks for having me. What's up, bro? So nice seeing you, nice seeing you. How you doing today, bro? Chilly, chilly, you know. Yeah, getting to the money. One day at a time, you know what I'm saying? Got For to sure. Do that. For sure. All right, so we just going to dive right in, bro. So in your recent album, Extortion, right? You got 12 songs on there. So what was the process for choosing the title like? Because Extortion by Webster Dictionary is the practice of obtaining something, especially through money, using force or threat. So right. who owe VB? Who you had to beat up? Nah, we ain't gonna we gonna say that. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But what's it called? It was just I dropped it on Friday the thirteenth. Okay. So I want a song that I wanted a word that could like embody that that whole like dark side of you. You know what I'm saying? And everybody know I'm Mr. Go Get Money. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. like I was like, you know what? How can somebody? How can I describe somebody having to do somebody? wrong for that money. Mm. So I thought it'd be story. Okay, you know so it's like a double entendre. Like yeah, I'm here to take for everything. Right, and like the first six songs, I'm on that type of time. Okay. And then switch to the plug and I like that, I like that. So, if somebody listening to your music for the first time ever, what is one song you'll take them to and be like, yes, this is the introduction to VB Pack? Man, I don't know, it's a lot on. Cause I got like two sides. I like to make like underground. Sometimes I make like street shit. Okay, give us the underground and then give us like, the street. My underground song, I'd probably say like, man, I'd probably say Control C. Okay, and why Control C? It's just it's everybody's fan favorite. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a fan favorite. I seen it got a lot of plays on yeah. Control C. Yeah, Control C is really up there. It's one of the ones that got us. Getting 20k. Okay. But um pop it, pop it. Don't be modest. Yeah, you know pop it. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what's it called? On the underground side, control C and in my probably street shit, I'd probably say off the tape. Probably be like CNN or right. to the lead. Okay. Okay. And why CNN or to the lead? And CNN just it's that song. Yeah. Uh, it's just on value. Everybody like at the listening part I had through at Tunework Studio. Mm -hmm. in Greenville. Shout out to Work. Yeah, shout out to Work that's in Greenville, y'all tapping in. But what's it called? I went there and did my own listening party. When I played that song, everybody just got moving. Like it's, it made people start moving. So I like to make my music for people. They go moving. So. Just, just vibe. Exactly. I like it. I like and it. Took the lead because I'm gonna collab with two people at once. Like yeah. uh, Arrow and Paradox. Shout out Arrow. When Shout they when Arrow. they work together, they be they call themselves like Hey there, all caps. And that whole trio was crazy. So. You couldn't have told me something new. Yeah, man. Okay. Shout out, hey there, shout out, Arrow. Heard it. So. All right. So we gonna get into your background. So like, is there anybody that heavily musically like influenced you coming up, or it's just like I caught a buzz or a wave, and it was like, yeah, this is my lane. I'm gonna stick to it. Or somebody gave you blueprint. Like, okay, yeah. Nah, I can't say that. Nah, but like, I definitely had favorite artists. Okay. But like, I wouldn't say. Like when I started this rap stuff, you know, like I wasn't trying to be like nobody else. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to be me, and because I feel like every artist I like, like thug, like stuff like that. Free like, thug. Yeah, free thug, man. Man, what's it called? Thug is in one lane. He's his own way, own sound. For sure. Boom, like a new person just came out. I listened to a little bit of E, mm -hmm. made their own sound, and they really blow and get their money off being themselves. So that was my main focus. And I will really say that about you, like. When I hear certain songs, kind of, I'm gonna get into my favorite song, Tricky, but like mm -hmm. when I hear certain songs like that, or and then you just transition back to Control C or Underground Music, like you can hear like the progression between the two because you really are a person that focuses on individuality. Like even though those songs are like similar as, as far as like subject matter, mm -hmm. the way you rap in both songs is completely different. So, yeah, so like, I'll be trying to show that versatility. So. Yeah. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. So your favorite project that you have released older than me, what would you say it would be? Favorite project I released? Mm -hmm. I'd probably say it's Thorsh. Okay. Because it's just starting it now. Like, it's starting to be my, I just had my third year numbers come out. So I'm about to start my fourth year. Okay. And it's, just, it's time for it now. Yeah. Dog has no breaks. And I feel like they kicked it off before the year end. Okay. okay. So. 
your favorite feature? Now, I know when I ask people this question, they usually like try to walk around it because they don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. Yeah. But like at Botox Talk Girl, we open. It's just a conversation. No offense to anybody. So I'm keep Love, it real. I all the words. Your favorite feature. It could be on this album. It could be on any single that you release. I got, I got two. Okay. So like, I got my favorite feature that like did the most numbers for me. Mm -hmm. I had linked up with Slime Dollars on the song. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, on Sharkhead, so that was just different. Like, I have, that's my first time really, like, investing, you know what I'm saying? Taking that risk and it, it worked, so, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Slime Dollars. And then, recently I've been working with L.A. Kinsey. Okay. You know, he from Greenville, too, you yeah. know what I'm saying? From Southside, 25. But what's it called? He just, he turned up, though, and, like, he in his own lane, he got his own music. And I like that, because, like, I pride myself, you say, on individuality. Mm -hmm. We match that. So when we come together on songs, we be like, because sometimes he be in the stool, got a beat that I ain't never thought I'd touch. You know what I'm saying? He be like, yeah. get in. Get on that. I'm like, all right, go in there and do the same, vice versa. It's like friendly competition. Yeah. Make it's like make each other better because like, we both from the same city, from the same city. So like, you got to push each other yeah. so that the city go up. Because a lot of niggas, they, Especially like being in the same city, they only view you as competition instead of like, okay. Oh, that happens here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that happens here too. For sure, for sure. They only view you as like competition, but not friendly competition. Like, hey, nigga, this is our city. Like, let's build it up together. So, like, yeah, like, I'm a type nigga. Like, I'm a type nigga too. Like, I won't be too Hollywood with it. Like, yeah. if I see these other niggas rapping on Instagram, I'll be on there. If it's hard, I drop a little fire mode, you know what I'm saying? Showing my scene, I mean, I'm mm -hmm. showing love. But like, it don't be reciprocated, but you know, I ain't gonna pay for it because yeah. they gonna do it, the support's gonna do it anyway. Like, I feel you, I feel you. Bro, but this is how I knew you was a turnt nigga, bro. Like, besides your music, bro, I seen that uh, little guy that commented on one of your pictures. I'm like, yeah, yeah. bro, really tapped in. <laughs> yeah. I was like, bro, really tapped in. Like, niggas so, yeah, ain't really tapped in yeah. for the city. Like, tapped in. If y'all ain't know, I ain't never said this on camera. But I got an old, old release. It's called Before It's So Pat. Okay. It's an EP. And it's a song in there called Pulling Stunts. And look at it, sitting in the intro. And it's the start of the song. So if y'all want to see that, y'all. Yeah. But That's yeah, shout, shout out to look at it, man. Shout out to Get real. All right. So when you out, you know, being Pat Man, like on stage, what is that song that you just instantly, like, I'm going to put this on the set list because I know it's going to get the whole crowd moving. Probably Motion Man. Okay. Um, motion Man. Yeah, track the motion. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'll put that song out. It's got the glow beat. Shout out uh, Top Chef 2K. Yeah, shout out to Chef, man. I watched Chef cook that joint in like 10 minutes. Hard as beat. I'm like, about to get on the, get on the thing with like the beat and rap it. Mm -hmm. This is when I was recording at the crib. He like, I'm just letting you know, bro, like, you gotta come on this one with energy, bro. You gotta scream. I'm out. Alright, yeah. Alright, man. That's all I need to hear. I'm hit the button, you, you know, scream, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I just got turned on the beat, bro. And it's just like, I guess because I put my energy in the mic, it, it was super take out the crowd. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Chef, man. I love Chef. He got great energy. Bro. Man, Chef, great, morning, bro. Great my brother. Energy, bro. So, who you wanna work with in the industry or like upcoming artists? Or you just focusing on BB right now? Just focusing on the brand. I'm focusing on the brand, okay. but I'm definitely gonna be like in the studio and traveling. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like I've been, I've been in a little situation. You know what I'm saying? So I've been cooped up, but now I'm out moving around again. So, Love to hear that. so Love like, to hear that. What, say if I'm in Atlanta, I'm in the studio, and the artist walk in, like I can't say I'm not gonna get a feature. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like that ain't the main focus. I'm just trying to build me. Okay. Focus, focus. Oh, I feel like I always put others first. It's my time now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No cap. Sometimes you gotta be a little selfish instead of being selfish because people take that for granted. They yeah, I still want you to. I still want people to win. But yeah, you know what I'm yeah, for sure. All right. So I'm gonna get into my favorite song off the album, Tricky. I just love that shit, bro. I literally seen pop out. With that fight, get tricky. I don't know what the fuck happened to the background, but 
We back with it. So like I was saying, pop out, but that's how that shit get tricky. Bro, you can ask your lady. I say that shit around the house at least three or four times a day, man. Like, sometimes you gotta get nasty sometimes. That shit is so hard, bro. So video out now, right now. Go on YouTube, check out Tricky. The I'm whole just, I'm just, and I just wanna let y'all know. When I be talking about violence and stuff in my music, violence and all that, I be cat rapping, man. I don't do none of that. I'm just a rapper. I'm a rapper, I'm an entrepreneur, man. I just go, I stay out the way to get to it, man. I don't do none of that stuff. See, stay violence is a code word. You ever you ever heard of a viola in, in Dan or like a violin? Yeah, he, he just be referring to other different type of music. Yeah, man. Like, inside of the music. You know, it, it ain't never nothing yeah. malicious, you yeah. know, ever. Oh. Come on, I'll be be <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Top Shelf produced that beat. Yeah, correct? that Shelf, man, the one. Bruh, he told me that that process, like, for him, was, like, fairly quick. So, right. like, how was the process for you in your studio? Like, was that first little pop out with that fight? That shit be tricky. Like, was that shit on your head, or you just, like, heard the beat and was like, yeah. Same situation as most of man. He was like, yeah. look, you got to scream because it's of the beat. He's like, the beat guy. Aggressive drums, you got to get, you got to be aggressive with your vocal, like, back. So Tyler, I mean, two words again, record. I made this song in two words in Greenville again. You know what I'm saying? Tyler Lewis, engineer, chef on the beat. Chef with me. We finna slide out the city. That's the thing. Like, we rushing. Okay. So, like, but it don't never take me no time in the studio. That's why we could rush. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But Chef was like, all right, bro, look, bro. Like, basically, we gotta get this done in 30 minutes. I'm like, all right, because we gotta go to Columbia. I'm like, all right, come on. Boom. Get in there. Tyler, like, I started, like, just, like, start walking. Like okay. a little faster off the roof. Okay. They was like, they was like, make on scene this one. I'm like, alright, big. So I just came with some with a simple hook. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pop out. But yeah, fight this shit get tricky. And then it just came. It just went with it. Okay. I'm king punching. By the way, I'm not nah. a lot of y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I punch in. Every Between time. you and LA Kenzie, bro, y'all niggas yeah. are <laughs> different with that punch shit. Like God. these niggas be you know boxing like. <laughs> Punch me in, type you know what I'm of saying? Shit. Because it's just it's better like that for me, bro. Like once I get a melody or like a, a rhythm, a cadence in my head, it's just so. But I don't, I don't write nothing though. I just. So we are gonna get into the fashion. You missed to put it on, Mr. Motion Man, uh, Mr. Pac Man himself. I'm chilling today, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, was to, I was about to pop it. I was about to pop it with the Balenciennes on you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but you calm right now. Yeah, I'm so. chilling right now, man. It's cold outside, bro. So if you had to compare your fashion to any one of your tracks like that you put out, what song would it be? I got a song I release coming out soon. Okay. And it's called Trim. Mr. Trim. It's called Trim. <laughs> Mr. Trim. With estimation mark is produced by Bruce Usher. And it's just it's going to embody with my the future of me. Okay. Like, Y'all gonna see like I like the underground, I love the underground, so I'm just finna be that. Okay, so, so this is the transition, this is like yeah. going from extortion to, uh. Yeah, extortion, kick it off. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. So, so, what are your favorite uh, venues that you ever performed at, like, in the city? Because I feel like it's a lot to do in the city, but it ain't shit to do in the city. And if people saying, knew about, like, certain shit in the yeah. city, it would be, it in, would be a little bit more. In the city, crazy though, cause like it ain't really that many meals. But I done did like I done went and had like sections, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then had DJ play my stuff. You know what okay. I'm saying? I done did that before when they be lit. But as far as performing, I'll probably say like I I performed that on PS Day 2023, um, PS uh, Sneaker Boutique. Okay. They throw that. Okay. They throw that every year and um, they had threw me on there, bro. That's at 60 Airview, right? Yeah, 60 Airview. 60 Airview. They got drip in there. It's a, it's a like, routine. You go get drip, shoes, anything you want. If you don't, it's not in there. They be ordering it. So I, that's why I fold them. But what's it called? They had to do a show. That jump was crazy. Like, I had popped it on stage. I was throwing ones and stuff like that. They was, I, I fold with the crowd love. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and so. then, but I probably saved them. Like, just probably because of my first performance in the city. And it was interesting, it was in a barn. It was in a barn and like, easy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've been yeah. to that venue. Yeah. I know what you're talking about, bro, I know what you're talking about. Bro, when I pull up, 
You had to walk a long ass way to get to the barn? Yeah, no, I just walked oh, okay. that bitch. I walked that bitch. Yeah, no. <laughs> he said, I'm not about to get so. I'm not walking it. I had those Gabbana's on. I was like, fuck, oh, yeah. I'm not finna walk through this mud. I drove all the way up there. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let him in. Yeah, boom. Yeah, I performed on first. I took my first ever performance. They made me go first. So I opened up. And like, it was just a barn. Like, outside. I'm like, man, what the hell? I'm blown. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? Like, I'm getting paid. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Boom. Sitting there chilling, and I, they're like, "All right, the DJs are DJs are." And shout out DJs are. He was the uh, DJ who was running my set, bro. That nigga was like, "All right, y'all, we got DD DD Pack on the stage, gonna perform. Y'all, y'all come in and turn up." Nobody was coming in, like, cause it was like food and stuff outside. Okay. But I was like, I ain't gonna let that, cause they don't yeah. know me in my first time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, introduce yourself to. So boom, you know what? I just forced it. And since then, that's why I just, I've been confident on stage, like when I perform, I be lit. Cause like, I took that mic, I'm like, man, what the fuck, hey, everybody, everybody get here right now, let's do it, I'm turned up. And we're like, yeah! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They get the running in there and stuff. Yeah. And then boom, rocked out all those songs, bro. At the end, like, oh, like, random white family want to take pictures and stuff. So that's like, lit, bro. you know what I'm saying? So I'll say that's probably why, one of my favorite. That's a lit ass first time, like, to perform on stage. A lot of niggas, they get booed and get discouraged, or like, <laughs> for real? <laughs> Throw a tomato at this bitch ass nigga. <laughs> but like, bro, no that just show your adversity. Like, bro, that shit did not stop me. Like, bro, I'm I'm destined for this shit. Yeah, but they throw a tomato at me. I'm throwing something nigga. back. <laughs> but I'm not talking about like this. I'm not throwing He's like He's talking dude. about the violets. Nah, nah, I'm not. Nah, I'm talking about. I'm talking about, yeah. <laughs> He's definitely talking about the violets. Don't throw nothing at me on stage. <laughs> okay. BB's so if you, VB is not going, do not no. throw shit at VB, I'm telling you now for your own Duh. sake, Listen. he's not to be played with. Listen, I don't know what they talking about, I just don't like things thrown at me, <laughs> okay? Okay, so if you could create, <laughs> VB, we got kids down <laughs> If you could create a dream team, give me one producer, one feature, you as the main artist, and somebody to open up, who would it be? So it's yeah. a two person performing? Yeah, two person they, performance. They open before me. We got one person to open, the person that you bring in with you. He could be a hype man. He ain't gotta be the feature. He could be a hype man. Right. Okay, your hype man, your opener, your producer, slash DJ, who you gonna choose for your dream team? Producer, I go with my brother, man, Top Chef 2K. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's my real brother. Like, people don't know what people in music. That's yeah. my real brother. That's my real brother. What's it called? Producer, it's Top Chef. Go ahead and get down out of the way. Okay. Boom. But because you said dream team, and I can do anything I want, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's your world. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go with someone who got the crowd for like influence on a lot. So I'm going to. I'm gonna throw you as my opener. Okay. I know it sounds crazy, but hey, anything is possible. Okay. You know what okay. I'm saying? I'm gonna throw you as my opener so that the crowd already activated for what I'm coming with next. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I would probably say my feature artist, if I had to do a feature song performance, would probably be like with Kenzie. Okay. And I have Kenzie. a lot of songs in there. With LA Kenzie, yeah. A lot of songs. We got more that y'all don't even know about. But I know you know. Yeah. But you don't know. That if you know, no. if you but know, you know what I'm saying? You know. <laughs> but what's it called? Probably with LA Kenzie. That's because, like, I ain't trying to, I ain't the only one, I ain't trying to hog the ball. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I know I'm going to get posted on all these blogs and stuff. Okay. I'm going to turn my bro up. That means I'm going to turn the city up. Yes. Like, people don't know VB and Ville, baby. Like, yeah. I'm trying to turn the city up. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Speaking of LA uh, y'all got a song together called Peepy Cross. Mm -hmm. And it's been a lot of talk. Behind the Peter Peace Come check it cross Like Kenzie gave us his insight About what the upside down cross Meant to him But I want to know specifically from you As a feature artist Like how did that really affect Your career or just like Your livelihood or How people viewed you Because yeah. of yeah. you being on the song But oh, man like I like, I'm close with God, I'm mm -hmm. still, like, like, relationship-wise, I'm close with Jesus, you know what I'm saying? So, like, 
when I'm with like the people I know from like church and stuff, mm -hmm. and like my family and like my girl and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like <laughs> she was like, "Why are you out there doing that?" Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she had walked in at the um, listening party. And she's like, why you what they doing? That was her first time hearing it? Yeah. Oh. Nah, 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 not hearing it. That's the thing, she not heard it. But like, okay. that's what I'm saying. She don't even know Peter Peace because she had to cry. Like, right. She didn't even know what that meant. You know what I'm saying? But because you've seen it on stage, she's like, oh. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It was a visual aid. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. But what's okay. it called? I don't see no problem with it because, like, people are, like, that say they Christians and that they in God and God's in them mm -hmm. and that they all want to go, like, they should know that. Even if that is evil, it can't touch you. Amen. You know what I'm Amen. saying? You cover by the other Jesus if you're Amen. a Christian. But what's it called? In the Bible, it's literally like there's a disciple who got who didn't feel worthy enough to right. die. Right. That's why it's Peter. Peter peace is because it's a Peter cross. Right. He didn't feel worthy enough to die like the perfect man Jesus, because right. he right. knows he had sin in his life. Right. So he asked to be crucified upside down right. instead. So that's why it's a Peter cross. But it's because of like the media and stuff, mm -hmm. but like if you actually know the Bible and stuff, you gotta know that like like I said, one, you can't be touched, can't be defeated, and two, that that's how a disciple died. One of the closest people that ever talked to Jesus. Yeah. That's how he died. Right. On that. So you ain't even talked to Jesus physically. So y'all just chill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all just chill. You know what I'm saying? Like just chill. I feel like it's because the media, the movies and stuff, like. On the scary movies, they flip the, the cross mm -hmm. upside down. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, they just... They correlate that. They right. absorbing that. Right. Instead of actually knowing what's going on. Right. Like, duh, it's a movie. Right. But, come on. Well, you heard VV Peace. Anything else you want to say to these folks? Anything you have upcoming? Social medias? Put it out there. Let the people know where to find you. Where to mm -hmm. hit his first thing first. music, man. Yeah, first thing first. If I talk about me, man, subscribe. Botox, man. Subscribe right now. Sure. Subscribe right now. Show. Right, anyway, now that you don't, now that, that you don't subscribe, um, man, that me so I got I'm releasing the vlog. It's coming. Me and Kenzie been in the stool. Me and Chef been going cooking up. Shout out Neely, he been sending some beats. Bruce Usher, Paradox, Arrow, all on sending beats. So I'm not just finna look at them. I'm finna use them. So you know, I'm finna be in that loud. Y'all stay tuned. Follow the Instagram, BBPat1 if you don't already. TikTok is the same. All that. But with me, man. All my music is on all platforms, DB, Space, PAC, Pack. I'm not too far. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Thank y'all. Hold on. Kizzy hit a motherfucking push up in the last one. I think I got to do sit ups in this one. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see if I can get right. Ooh. Two. Ooh. <laughs> Three. Ooh. My feet ain't touching the ground. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> It's been Botox. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>